Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video, we will explore the gear blank forging process and gear machining technologies and machines. Moratora Steel Industry is a leading player in the steel industry and is well known for its high quality steel products. In this part of the video, we will explore the process of free forging at their mill, specifically the forging of a gear blank from a square billet using a large hydraulic press machine. Free forging is a process in which metal is shaped into the desired form without the use of any dies or tools. This process is widely used in the steel industry for the production of a variety of components, including gears blank. The process of free forging involves heating the metal to a temperature where it becomes malleable, and then applying pressure to shape it into the desired form. At the mill, the first step in the process of forging a gear blank from a square billet is to heat the steel billet to a temperature of around 1,200 degrees Celsius. This temperature is necessary to make the metal malleable enough for the forging process. The billet is then placed on the forging machine, which is a large hydraulic press. The next step in the process is to forge the steel billet into a round shape. This is achieved by applying pressure to the billet using the hydraulic press. The hydraulic press is a powerful machine that can apply a large amount of force, making it ideal for forging metal. The round shape is important because it provides a base shape for the gear blank to be formed. Once the billet has been forged into a round shape, the next step is to punch holes in the metal to form the gear blank. The hydraulic press is used to apply pressure to the metal, which causes the metal to flow into the holes, forming a perforated circular shape. The size and number of holes punched into the metal depend on the desired size and shape of the gear blank. Ingersoll Cutting Tools is a leading manufacturer of cutting tools for various industries, including gear machining. Gear machining is a process of cutting and shaping gears to precise specifications for use in various applications. Ingersoll Cutting Tools offers a wide range of gear machining tools, including solid carbide end mills, indexable carbide inserts, and high-speed steel hob cutters. These tools are designed to provide high accuracy, efficiency, and productivity in gear machining processes. One of the key benefits of using Ingersoll cutting tools in gear machining is the company's focus on innovation and technology. The company invests heavily in research and development to develop cutting-edge tools and solutions for gear machining, such as their proprietary PowerFeed Plus Hob system, which improves cutting speed and accuracy while reducing tool wear. The fully automatic ring production line of Mitsubishi Nagasaki machinery is a state-of-the-art system that utilizes advanced technology to produce high-quality rings with precision and efficiency. The production process starts with loading the raw material onto the conveyor belt, which is then fed into the rough ground-forming machine. 
the rough ground forming machine shapes the material into a ring and then transfers it to the rolling mill. The rolling mill applies pressure and heat to the ring, gradually forming it into the desired shape and size. The finished ring is then transferred to the material handling system for unloading. Throughout the production process, various sensors and cameras monitor the temperature, pressure, and other key parameters to ensure the quality of the finished product. The entire process is fully automated, from loading the raw material to unloading the finished product, minimizing the need for human intervention and increasing efficiency. BM Gears is a leading manufacturer of gears and transmission components, located in Italy. The company has a wide range of gear cutting machines, including the Klingelberg C29 machine, which is used for dry cutting bevel gears. In this part, we will show the process of dry cutting bevel gears on the Klingelberg C29 machine, and how BM Gears uses this machine to produce high quality bevel gears with M5.5 module and 22 teeth. The Klingelberg C29 machine is a highly advanced bevel gear cutting machine that uses a dry cutting process. Dry cutting is a process that involves cutting the gears without the use of any coolant or lubricant. This process is environmentally friendly, as it eliminates the use of cutting fluids that can be harmful to the environment. It is also cost effective, as it reduces the need for expensive cutting fluids and the associated disposal costs. The dry cutting process on the Klingelberg C29 machine begins with the preparation of the gear blank. The gear blank is a piece of metal that is cut to the desired size and shape of the gear. It is then mounted on the machine and positioned in the cutting area. The cutting tool, which is a bevel gear cutter, is then positioned in the machine and adjusted to the correct angle and depth. Once the cutting tool is in position, the process begins. The cutting tool rotates at a high speed and cuts into the gear blank, removing metal and creating the teeth of the gear. The cutting process is controlled by the machine's computer system, which ensures that the gear is cut to the precise specifications required. The computer system also monitors the cutting process and makes adjustments as necessary to ensure that the cutting tool is cutting the gear correctly. BM Gears uses the Klingelberg C29 machine to cut bevel gears with M5.5 module and 22 teeth. This is a common gear configuration that is used in a variety of applications, including automotive transmissions and industrial machinery. BM Gears' use of the Klingelberg C29 machine ensures that the gears they produce are of the highest quality and precision. In addition to its dry cutting capabilities, 
the Klingelberg C-29 machine also has other advanced features that make it a highly effective gear cutting machine. These features include a high-speed spindle, a precision cutting tool, and a sophisticated computer control system. The combination of these features allows the machine to produce gears that are highly accurate, with excellent surface finish and low noise levels. Bevel gears can be cut on a shaping machine using a rotary table and a special cutter called a bevel gear cutter. The process involves mounting the workpiece on the rotary table and aligning it with the cutter. The cutter is then fed into the workpiece at the desired angle and depth to cut the teeth. The rotary table is then rotated to the next position and the process is repeated until all the teeth are cut. Proper alignment and setup are critical to ensure the accuracy of the gear teeth. The cutting speed, feed rate, and depth of cut must also be carefully selected to produce a high-quality gear. Lieber, a global leader in advanced engineering, has recently introduced a state-of-the-art gear hobbing and profile hobbing machine, the LC4000. This machine is designed to work with workpieces up to 4,000 mm in diameter and is capable of producing high-quality gears and profiles with exceptional accuracy and efficiency. One of the key features of the LC4000 is its high rigidity, which allows it to maintain stable cutting conditions even when working with large workpieces. This is achieved through a robust machine structure that is built to withstand high cutting forces and vibrations. The machine is also equipped with a powerful drive system that ensures smooth and precise motion control. In addition to its rigidity, the LC4000 is also designed for maximum versatility. It is equipped with a range of hobbing and milling tools that can be easily interchanged to produce different gear and profile types. This makes the machine ideal for a wide range of applications, from small-scale production runs to large-scale mass production. Another important feature of the LC4000 is its advanced control system. The machine is equipped with a sophisticated CNC control system that enables precise control of all machine functions. The control system is user-friendly and intuitive, allowing operators to easily program and adjust the machine settings as needed. To ensure the highest levels of quality and accuracy, the LC4000 is also equipped with a range of advanced sensors and monitoring systems. These systems are designed to detect and correct any deviations from the program settings, ensuring that the final product meets the required specifications. The LC4000 is also designed with efficiency in mind. It is equipped with a range of automation features that help to reduce setup and changeover times. This includes a quick change tool system that allows operators to quickly and easily swap out hobbing and milling tools, as well as an automatic workpiece loading system that eliminates the need for manual handling. Heat treatment is a critical process in the manufacturing of gears. The heat treatment process involves heating the gear to a specific temperature and holding it there for a set amount of time before cooling it down in a controlled manner. This process alters the structure of the metal and improves its mechanical properties, making it stronger and more durable.
Okubo Gears facility is equipped several different types of heat treatment, including carburizing, quenching, and tempering. Carburizing involves adding carbon to the surface of the gear to increase its hardness, while quenching rapidly cools the gear to increase its strength. Tempering involves reheating the gear to a specific temperature to reduce its brittleness and improve its toughness. Forged flanges are essential components in various industrial applications, serving to connect pipes, valves, and other equipment securely. The chosen material should possess the necessary mechanical properties and corrosion resistance. A cylindrical metal piece, known as a billet, is prepared by cutting, heating, and shaping it to the required size and shape. The billet is heated to a suitable temperature and placed in a forging machine. It is then subjected to tremendous pressure, causing it to deform and take the shape of a flange. The forging process ensures grain alignment and enhances the flange's mechanical properties. After forging, the excess material is trimmed and the central hole is pierced to match the pipe's diameter. This step ensures that the flange will fit precisely. The forged flange is heat-treated to improve its metallurgical properties, making it more resistant to stress, corrosion, and wear. The flange undergoes further machining to achieve the required dimensions and surface finish. This step ensures that it will fit perfectly with other components. The final product is subjected to rigorous quality control measures, including non-destructive testing and dimensional inspections to ensure it meets industry standards and customer specifications. The flange is usually coated or painted to protect it from corrosion. The 60K Press, the world's largest closed die forging machine, operates with incredible precision and power. Here's a brief overview of how it works. The heart of the 60K Press is its immense forging force, which is generated by a hydraulic system. A massive hydraulic pressurization system applies a tremendous load to the upper die, exerting a force of 540 meganewtons, equivalent to 60,000 short tons. This force is essential for shaping and compressing the metal into the desired form. Closed die forging involves two dies, the upper die and the lower die. These dies are specially designed to fit together precisely and create the desired shape. The metal workpiece, usually a superheated ingot or billet, is placed between the dies. The metal workpiece is heated to a precise temperature, ensuring it is malleable and ready for forging. This temperature varies depending on the type of metal being used. With the heated workpiece positioned between the dies, the press applies the enormous forging force. The upper die is driven downward, while the lower die remains stationary. This compresses and shapes the metal within the confined space of the dies. What sets the 60K press apart is its high level of precision and automation. It incorporates advanced digital technology and a network of over 3,000 sensors to monitor and control the entire process. This automation ensures that the forging process is not only powerful but also incredibly accurate, reducing the chances of defects in the final product.
The heavy forging industry is a cornerstone of manufacturing, providing essential components for various sectors, including aerospace, automotive, energy, and defense. It relies heavily on sophisticated machinery and equipment to transform massive metal ingots into precision-engineered parts. The role of heavy machinery in this industry is pivotal, both in terms of production efficiency and the ability to meet stringent quality requirements. In this article, we will delve into the world of heavy forging machinery and the critical numbers that underscore its importance. Hydraulic Forging Presses Hydraulic forging presses are workhorses of the heavy forging industry, capable of exerting immense pressure to shape and form metal. These machines come in various sizes, with tonnage ratings representing their power. For example, a 10,000-ton hydraulic press can apply 20 million pounds of force to manipulate metal. Such presses are instrumental in producing large components like shafts, gears, and turbine discs. Mechanical forging presses. Mechanical forging presses, while less common than their hydraulic counterparts, still play a significant role in heavy forging operations. These machines utilize a mechanical drive system, typically a crankshaft and eccentric drive, to deliver force to the workpiece. A 4,000-ton mechanical press, for instance, can generate 8 million pounds of pressure for metal shaping tasks. These presses are known for their speed and precision, making them suitable for specific applications. Drop hammers. Drop hammers, often used in open die forging, rely on gravity to deliver rapid, high-impact blows to the workpiece. The weight of the hammer, expressed in pounds, determines the force applied to the metal. For instance, a 10,000-pound drop hammer exerts a considerable impact on the material, allowing for efficient deformation and shaping of larger parts. Steam hammers. Steam hammers have historical significance in forging and were a major innovation during the Industrial Revolution. These hammers use steam power to strike the workpiece. Steam hammers come in various sizes, and their energy is often measured in foot-pounds. A medium-sized steam hammer might deliver 50,000 to 100,000 foot-pounds of energy, allowing for precision and versatility in shaping metal. Modern CNC controls. The integration of computer numerical control CNC, systems into heavy forging machinery has revolutionized the industry. CNC controls allow for precise programming of forging processes, leading to consistency and repeatability. The precision is often measured in micrometers, mu m, or thousandths of an inch. Modern CNC forging machines can achieve tolerances as tight as 0.005 inches. 0.127 millimeters, ensuring that forged parts meet strict quality standards. Manipulator robots. Manipulator robots are used to handle and position heavy workpieces during forging. These machines can have lifting capacities ranging from 5 tons to 50 tons or more allowing them to maneuver the massive ingots used in heavy forging. The precise control of these robots ensures the safety of workers and the accuracy of positioning during forging operations. Induction heating systems. Induction heating is a critical aspect of the heavy forging process as it prepares the metal for deformation. The power output of induction heating systems is measured in kilowatts, kW. A high-power induction heating system can deliver up to 1,000 kilowatts or more. This high-intensity heat source allows for rapid and controlled heating of the workpiece to the required forging temperature, 
often in a matter of seconds. Die Design Software Die design is an essential aspect of heavy forging, as the shape and quality of the dies directly impact the final product. Specialized software for die design utilizes 3D modeling and finite element analysis fee, to optimize the dies. It helps engineers create dies with intricate shapes and contours, ensuring that the forged parts meet the desired specifications. Modern die design software can reduce lead times and material waste while improving die life and component quality. Forging Material Handling Equipment Heavy forging involves the manipulation of massive metal ingots, which can weigh several tons. Overhead cranes and mobile gantry systems are critical pieces of equipment used to transport these heavy materials. These systems often have lifting capacities ranging from 5 tons to 50 tons, allowing for the efficient movement of ingots and forged components within the facility. Material testing equipment. Ensuring the quality and integrity of forged components is paramount. Material testing equipment, such as ultrasonic testing machines and magnetic particle inspection systems, are used to detect defects or irregularities in the forged parts. These machines provide precise measurements, often in millimeters or micrometers, ensuring that components meet the required quality standards. Heat treatment furnaces. Heat treatment is a crucial step in the heavy forging process to improve material properties. Large heat treatment furnaces are used to subject forged components to specific temperature profiles. These furnaces can reach temperatures exceeding 2000 degrees Celsius, 3632 degrees Fahrenheit, and are equipped with advanced control systems to maintain precise temperature tolerances. Environmental controls. As with any heavy industry, environmental considerations are essential. Heavy forging facilities incorporate advanced environmental control systems to manage emissions and energy consumption. These systems help reduce the environmental footprint of heavy forging operations while meeting regulatory requirements. Automation and Robotics Automation in heavy forging has gained traction, driven by the need for efficiency and precision. Robotic systems are increasingly used for tasks such as loading and unloading materials, die handling, and quality inspection. The number of industrial robots in heavy forging facilities is on the rise, contributing to improved productivity and worker safety. Safety systems. Safety is a paramount concern in the heavy forging industry due to the high forces and temperatures involved. Safety systems, including emergency shutdown mechanisms, safety interlocks, and personal protective equipment, are integral to ensuring the well-being of workers and the protection of valuable equipment. Energy consumption and efficiency. Heavy forging operations are energy intensive, with power consumption often measured in megawatt hours, MWH. To enhance sustainability, the industry is investing in energy efficient technologies, such as recuperative heat exchangers and energy recovery systems, which can significantly reduce energy consumption. Maintenance and reliability. 
Heavy forging machinery requires robust maintenance programs to ensure optimal performance and longevity. The industry often measures machine reliability using metrics such as mean time between failures MTBF, and mean time to repair MTTR, to minimize downtime and maximize productivity. Forging is an age-old manufacturing technique that has undergone a remarkable evolution over the centuries. This process involves shaping metal by applying heat and pressure, typically through the use of hammers or mechanical presses. The development of forging technology has been a journey from primitive blacksmithing to the precision and automation of the modern era. In this article, we will explore this journey, highlighting key milestones and innovations that have shaped the forging industry. Ancient Origins of Forging Forging can trace its roots back to ancient civilizations. The earliest forges date as far back as 4500 BC, and these were rudimentary setups where metals were heated and hammered into shape. Initially, blacksmiths relied on simple tools and their skills to manually shape metals. Early Innovations One of the most significant early innovations in forging technology was the discovery of various metal alloys. Bronze, an alloy of copper and tin, played a pivotal role in the advancement of forging during the Bronze Age, around 3000 BC. This allowed for the creation of more durable and sophisticated tools and weapons. The Iron Age. The Iron Age, which began around 1200 BC, marked a crucial turning point in forging technology. Iron, due to its abundance and malleability, rapidly replaced bronze as the metal of choice. Blacksmiths honed their skills to create intricate objects, from weapons to agricultural tools. The role of water-powered hammers. The advent of water-powered hammers in the Roman Empire introduced a more efficient way to shape metal. These hammers used the kinetic energy of falling water to deliver powerful blows, significantly reducing the physical labor required. The Middle Ages and the emergence of craft guilds. During the Middle Ages, the art of forging continued to evolve, and craft guilds began to emerge. These guilds set standards for the quality of forged goods and trained apprentices in the techniques of the trade. Skilled blacksmiths produced intricate armor, swords, and decorative items. The Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution, which started in the late 18th century, had a profound impact on forging technology. The invention of steam engines and mechanical hammers mechanized the process, allowing for mass production of forged items. This era saw the birth of large-scale forging operations and the development of the steam hammer by James Naismith in 1837, which greatly improved efficiency and precision. The impact of metallurgy. Advances in metallurgy, particularly in the 19th century, led to a greater understanding of the properties of different metals and alloys. The ability to control and manipulate the microstructure of metals through heat treatment processes revolutionized the forging industry. 
For example, the Bessemer process for steel production, patented by Henry Bessemer in 1856, made high-quality steel more readily available for forging applications. World War I and II the forging industry played a pivotal role during the World Wars. The demand for precision forged components, such as aircraft parts, tanks, and artillery, spurred innovation and improvements in forging technology. It was during this time that the use of hydraulic presses and drop hammers became widespread. Modern precision forging, the latter half of the 20th century witnessed a transformation in forging technology, driven by advancements in materials science, automation, and computer-aided design and manufacturing, CAD, CAM. Precision forging, a technique that produces near-net shape components with minimal waste, emerged as a game-changer. Numerical control, CNC, forging. The integration of computer numerical control, CNC, systems into forging processes revolutionized the industry. CNC forging machines allow for precise control of temperature, pressure, and deformation, resulting in components with tight tolerances and improved material properties. This shift towards automation and precision has been particularly important in the aerospace and automotive industries. Improved materials and alloys, the development of advanced materials, such as titanium and superalloys, has expanded the applications of forging technology. These materials offer high strength, corrosion resistance, and other desirable properties. Forging has played a vital role in shaping these materials into critical components for aerospace, medical, and energy applications. Simulation and modeling, computer-aided engineering (CAE) and finite element analysis (FE) have become essential tools for optimizing the forging process. These simulations help engineers predict how a material will deform under various conditions, leading to more efficient and cost-effective designs. Innovations in die design. The design of forging dies, which shape the metal, has evolved significantly. Computer-aided design, CAD, and computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, have allowed for complex die designs that reduce the need for secondary machining operations. Environmental considerations. In the modern era, environmental concerns have led to the development of cleaner and more efficient forging processes. Technologies like electromagnetic forming and isothermal forging aim to reduce energy consumption and emissions while maintaining product quality. Three D printing and additive manufacturing. The emergence of 3D printing and additive manufacturing technologies has begun to impact the forging industry. While these technologies are not traditional forging methods, they offer new possibilities for creating intricate shapes and designs in metals, which can complement traditional forging techniques. Smart Manufacturing The concept of smart manufacturing which incorporates the Internet of Things, IoT, data analytics, and artificial intelligence, is being applied to forging operations. This enables real-time monitoring of the process, 
predictive maintenance, and continuous improvement. Future directions. As forging technology continues to evolve, there are several promising areas of development. These include the use of advanced materials like carbon fiber composites, further automation with robotic systems, and increased sustainability through recycling and reduced waste. A 5,000-ton forging machine is a massive hydraulic press used in the manufacturing industry to forge metal parts. This machine works on the principle of hydraulic force to apply pressure to the metal workpiece, which is then compressed and shaped according to the desired shape and size. The forging process begins by heating the metal workpiece to a temperature where it can be easily shaped. Once the metal is hot, it is placed on the lower die of the forging machine, and the upper die is brought down to apply pressure. The hydraulic system in the machine provides the necessary force to move the upper die down with tremendous force, which compresses the metal between the two dies. The 5,000-ton forging machine has a capacity to apply up to 5,000 tons of pressure, which is enormous. This force is enough to shape even the toughest of metals like steel or titanium. The metal workpiece is slowly shaped and compressed between the two dies, and the hydraulic pressure is maintained until the desired shape and size is achieved. The hydraulic system in the forging machine consists of a large piston, which is driven by a powerful hydraulic pump. The hydraulic fluid is stored in a reservoir and pumped into the cylinder, which moves the piston. The movement of the piston is transferred to the upper die, which applies pressure to the metal workpiece. The 5,000-ton forging machine also has a range of features that make it a versatile tool for forging different shapes and sizes of metal parts. The machine can be programmed to perform different forging processes like drawing, shaking, punching, saddle forging, bending, shifting, chopping, and cutting, among others. These processes are essential in creating complex shapes, which require precision and accuracy. The machine is also equipped with advanced controls that enable operators to monitor and adjust the forging process, depending on the metal being forged. The controls also ensure that the machine operates safely, preventing accidents and reducing downtime. End mills are cutting tools used in milling applications to remove material from a workpiece by rotating the tool along its axis. The aerospace industry has unique requirements for cutting tools, and end mills for aluminum high-speed processing are a common choice due to their efficiency and precision. In this part, we will discuss the features and benefits of end mills for aluminum high-speed processing in the aerospace industry. The aerospace industry is one of the most important sectors of the global economy, generating billions of dollars in revenue every year. 
The manufacture of aircraft components requires high-precision machining tools capable of processing a wide range of materials, including aluminum. Aluminum is a popular choice for aerospace components due to its lightweight, high strength, and corrosion resistance. To meet the demands of the aerospace industry, end mills for aluminum high-speed processing have been developed. End mills are cutting tools used in milling applications to remove material from a workpiece. They have a rotating cutting surface with multiple teeth, which can remove material from the workpiece as they rotate. End mills come in different sizes and shapes, and each is designed for a specific purpose. End mills for aluminum high-speed processing are designed to work with aluminum, a material that requires high-speed machining to achieve the desired finish. The aerospace industry demands precision and accuracy in every component used in aircraft, from the smallest parts to the largest structures. End mills for aluminum high-speed processing are essential in creating high-quality and accurate parts, especially in the aircraft industry. These end mills have a range of features that make them ideal for working with aluminum. For example, they are designed with a high helix angle, which helps to reduce vibration and improve chip evacuation. One of the significant challenges of machining aluminum is preventing the material from melting during the machining process. This can cause damage to the tool and the workpiece, resulting in a poor finish. To overcome this problem, end mills for aluminum high-speed processing are made with specialized coatings that provide high temperature resistance. These coatings can help to reduce the heat generated during machining, improving tool life and surface finish. Another challenge in machining aluminum is the tendency for the material to stick to the cutting edge of the tool, known as galling. End mills for aluminum high-speed processing are designed with a coating that helps to reduce galling. The coatings create a barrier between the aluminum and the cutting edge of the tool, preventing the material from sticking and reducing the risk of damage to the tool or the workpiece. In addition to the coatings, end mills for aluminum high-speed processing are also made from high-quality materials that can withstand the rigors of high-speed machining. These materials are often made from solid carbide, a hard and durable material that can withstand high temperatures and high-speed machining. Solid carbide end mills are also resistant to wear and tear, which can increase the lifespan of the tool and reduce the need for frequent replacements.